Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Well, as I record this chapter, it is August 25th, 2023, the day that the first major patch for Baldur's Gate 3 came out. I was rather looking forward to recording this chapter because I heard from uh, some early reports that apparently the new patch makes bards even more powerful than we were before. However, I did notice one small difference between the game before and the game now, which is that the rope ladder I used to climb up here last time is no longer there for some reason. This leaves us with something of a problem as to how we are supposed to get back down, but first things first, we've got a rather sizable storeroom to go loot. And I'm going to take the option to send all this to camp because I am already rather gloriously overburdened, or close to it, and my being bloodless is not helping matters. And I can even move the one I'm standing on to make it a little easier for everybody to get through this rather narrow opening. Anyway, we got a rustic chest, which is locked, but not for long. And let's go ahead and use the guidance bonus. And I have a surplus of thief's tools to make this easier. A Zentrum symbol. Those outlaws must be operating here. Yeah, we cannot add the wheelbarrow to our inventory, useful as it might be for carting some of this out of here at this point. Yeah, look, I'm already overburdened. Yeah, you can tell this is a bandit camp because they've got thieves' tools in every other container. actually trying to get to that crate there. Pretty sure we got that one on the way in. Now, it does pick out the most profitable items, but as we can see from there, that one, uh, that one box had a lot of helpful stuff in it. Let's go ahead and lockpick. Add bonus.
And this one just has two daggers. But hey, loot is loot. And I've already got more torches than we can ever possibly use, probably, but... And yeah, camera gets a little weird here. Rotten lemon, rotten mushroom. We don't want that. Just failed a perception check. So I'm going to have the rest of the party. Tell me, what can I do for you? Approach that direction one at a time. Although uh, I do have a new conversation option with Gale, so oh, what the heck? I know what it is to hunger, and I know what it takes to keep that hunger under control. He's done that so far, despite his condition. So long as he sates his appetite elsewhere, I'm happy to give him the benefit of the doubt. Great. You can be his cuddle buddy. But what the heck. Let's see if Lizel has an opinion. I'm sure she does. Should have trusted her to take care of it first. What to do? Moving in. But so long as somebody is there to say, you dumbass, there's a trap. So, disarm. Of course, now I still have to lockpick it. This is nowhere near as difficult, although... But the nice thing is Thieves' Tools. Let us try again. So even in my bloodless state, I can make it. Alright, so let's see what's in the fancy chest that they feel the need to booby trap. Uh, three scrolls of false life and scrolls of speak with dead. I'll just transfer those directly to Gale. And one more lock chest. Silver ingot and bronze ingot. But I'm going to pass those right to Lazelle. Let her carry all the heavy stuff. Doesn't work. 
Yes, from the look of it, uh, there is no way to get this to work unless you're coming from the top down. Can I get around to that Chasm Creeper plant? like I can. Well, that appears to be the storeroom looted. But let's take a quick moment to get all of our ingredients extracted. Looks like we've got a few potions we can brew. Including an extra healing potion, which is always welcome. A diluted oil of sharpness. Yeah, it looked like we had a few other things we could make, but no matter. And let's see. Can Gale learn any of the new spells that we just picked up? Uh, looks like he can learn false life. Well, it looks like we can go ahead and do a short rest here. A brief respite. Only gets us back half our hit points, but helpful nonetheless, and I am now heavily encumbered. No time to rest. And small wonder, I have yet to transfer all the cleric weapons I got from the Temple of Salune to Lazel. So let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I could send this to the camp, but... She seems happy to be carrying a ton of weapons. Well, wouldn't you be if you were in the Underdark? And we'll go ahead and give the magic weapons to Gale, just in case. The food, though, can go right to camp. And oh, there's that owlbear egg. I was wondering where that went to. send the die there, too. Smoke powder satchel, smoke powder bomb. And kiwi fruit. And I'm still carrying that heavy stone, which I was after the fact. We were meant to use these to block the vents in the hag uh, lair. And you don't know what, we might need a heavy stone.
And I really should think about sending these books to camp so Hasselm is something to read, but I think... That has me unburdened. Hurrah. Time to press ahead. Alright, so now the real pressing question. How the heck are we going to get out of here with our rope burned up? And luckily, it looks like there's a platform here. And we can climb down the rest of the pathway here. Although... Looks like there's also a bit of a camp this way, but as I recall... There were some explosive thingies I left over here. Yeah, see there's something there to be disarmed. box. I'm thinking that in the transfer of data between saves the and updates, the <clears throat> one of those things exploding earlier, they decided that should totally destroy the rope bridge. So, uh, not rope bridge, rope ladder, but yeah, that's why that's gone now, but looks like nobody took major damage from that apart from me, so that's alright, but thankfully, you know what? I don't normally save scum like this, but since we didn't really gain anything from that apart from whatever middling XP I might have gotten from disarming the trap, we'll go ahead and just step back one. And not mess with that anymore, because I don't think we have any further reason to come back this way. Now watch it turn out that there's some vital thing that I overlooked. Another step forward. Yeah, there's the outpost. It looks like this could be a way up, but not really. So nothing left to do but wander around and explore. Looks like there's more of that. Something in the Known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Ah, okay. Well, we just made a survival check about those mushrooms. Routing to the mask. And it's very weird how the camera will just randomly decide to go up or down. What the heck? Let's keep going up. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Yeah, let's just tell ourselves that.
Let's see, a candle, a bottle, and some bones. Empty burlap sack. Have I been this way before? Oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is the way we came to get here, isn't it? Rotten mushrooms, rotten basket, rotten wheelbarrow. See, we didn't mess with this dirt mound before. I cannot reach the chest that I just dug up for some reason. Aha! Let's see, scroll fly, scroll chromatic orb, and drow poison. Let's give that to Gale. Let's give him the chromatic orb as well. And just for the heck of it, let's see. At the ready. Let's see, Gale cannot learn any of these yet. I'm not about to try messing with that fly spell in here. Because even though that probably could let us cover some ground. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the duration of that sort of thing is, and I see some sort of sentient creatures down that way. Which makes me think that this might be a direction to head. Looks like this is find a way forward. And we just got the condition knocked down from something big burrowing underground, which can't be a good sign. Still, nobody seems to have suffered for that, so that's a good sign. Tennis and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, not by the other. Scroll of Shatter, Scroll of Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and a dead Drugar. That'd be Dark Elves, for those of you who are paying attention at home. And that's kind of worrying, because they typically don't travel alone. And there's uh, Mykonoid, which if I remember are the Mushroom People. Okay, so mug, crossbow, and gold. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Lava flush and a toadstool. And 
there's the folk I thought we might want to talk to, but I remember, yeah. Let's go grab the scrolls first. And yeah, I mentioned the camera is getting a little... It's weird, I haven't had nearly as many problems with the camera before patch as I have after. Nothing on the skeleton, but... Okay, I just realized that flight is on the list there. Grant, it's this list is grant flight rather than fly. But yeah, it's level three, so he can't learn that yet. Used to be you could transcribe spells even if you weren't of a level to cast them, but uh, may it please, Mister. Apparently, we got to hold on to that one for a little bit. Still alive, so that's progress. Have to keep going. Anyway, Restless Mykonoid, Noxious Mykonoid, Noxious Mykonoid, Drugar Spore Servant, Drugar Spore Servant. Oh, hey, um, just occurred to me that Drugar might not be the bad guys here, but, you know, let's go talk to him. You were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign. He has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Focus on your parasite and connect with the Sovereign. Tell the truth of the Seraphite. You seek safe passage only in search of treatment. Persuasion. Insight. Focus on the Sovereign song. Bard. Hum a peaceful tune in harmony with the Sovereign. You know, let's go with the Bard option here. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. All right, well, the good news is I think I just made friends. Bad news is we're in a really bad place to wind up getting ambushed if it turns out I wind up pissing these people off. But we will go ahead and stop here, and next time we will continue into the land of the mushroom people. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined, and I'll see you later. Take care until then.